There we go, there's something. Oh my god. Listen to that drag. Oh my god, y'all. Today I got some footage for y'all from the same day that I went out and filmed my last video. I decided not to include this footage in my last video mainly because my last video was all about flounder. But today's video is going to be all about Spanish mackerel and false albacore. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Stick around to the end because I'm going to be explaining to you guys exactly how we found these fish and what we're using to catch them, the rod and reel setup and stuff like that. So stay tuned y'all and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This kind of looks like Spanish, but oh, I just got hit. Come on, fish. Yeah, it's Spanish. Get it, come on. He's hitting it. There we go, I'm on. There's a Spanish. Oh, I popped off. Is that it? <laughs> oh, there they are. There we go, I'm on. Oh, it's so much fun. that on a little tiny Spanish there we go y'all we we're hoping that these are going to be uh, false albacore but just a little Spanish mackerel still a lot of fun I'm fishing it really light action rod this is a medium light seven foot medium light action rod a little tiny jig just a little little jig I'm just casting it out burning it back in we'll see if i can catch a couple more out of this and then if not i'm just gonna we're gonna keep on going we're heading to a new flounder spot by the way we saw these guys busting on top water before and i was hoping that they would have been false albacore which we saw earlier and i know that they were definitely false albacore earlier oh i came off there we go got another one. Oh, it's so much fun Look at that, it's fighting hard. Thank you. Oh, there it goes. Easy release. Catch one more, because they're still blowing up. We'll probably leave these guys. Oh, come on, hit it. Hit it, get it, get it, get it. There he is, oh, came off. <laughs> oh, these are so much fun. 10 pound braid, 20 pound leader, 2,500 size reel, and then a little medium light action rod. This would be fun on a fly rod or something too. False albacore are way more fun just because of how much harder they fight. They're uh, part of the tuna family. There's another one. Part of the tuna family. So they, they fight really hard. They're a lot of fun on light gear. Spanish are still fun, but these are kind of small ones. If these were bigger Spanish, it'd be a lot more fun, but I ain't complaining, these little guys are fun too when they're blowing up. Oh, okay, there he goes. All right, ah, one more, one more. Now I'll keep going. Oh, 
Look at him flying out the water. Last one right here. Yep, there he is. Oh, he came off. Oh, oh another one had it. All right, one more cast, one more cast. So hard to leave fish when they're doing this. Yep, got him that time. Oh, he came off again. Come on, another one get it, another one get it. Yep, ah. Oh. Yep, there we go. I think I got it. Yeah, these are super small, but just so much fun. Oh, that was almost a jig to the face. All right, that'll call it for me. We're gonna leave these little guys, but look how much, look how they're blowing up. Right in front of us. Looks like it's probably still Spanish, but they might be a little bit bigger. Oh, oh. Oh, they're big. That's a barracuda, I think. I think it's a big barracuda. Where? It was just following my bait in. Come on, look at all these fish, y'all. There we go, there's one. That's something better. Yep, that could be an albacore or just a bigger Spanish. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> look at that. Oh yeah, that's fun. That might be an albacore, Dad. This is so much better than those little ones from, the, from earlier. Oh, this is so much fun on this little rod. buddy I don't know I think it's a big Spanish no 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 it's an Albi yeah there's the false out before I got the bit. he's not even that big Oh my God, that little fish. That's probably the smallest albacore I've ever caught. Look at that, y'all. That little fish just put up that big of a fight. That little albacore, false albacore. That's crazy. Did you guys see how hard he just fought? And he's like, that's insane. All right, he's going back in. Ready? Oh, well, that was fun. They're still blowing up too. Look at him blowing up over here, y'all. Oh my god. There we go on. That's a Spanish. Look at him doing twirl. Oh, he came off. Alright, that's okay. There we go, I'm on. Oh, I think it's a little Spanish. It's not too bad. Yeah, 
This is a decent little Spanish. There he goes. There we go, there's something. Yeah, that's probably an albacore. Yeah, it feels like an albacore. Oh, he's going under the boat. That's got to be a better albacore. Oh my god. Listen to that drag. Oh my god, y'all. Look at him. Look how far the line's going. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Alright, you got I think you gotta follow him. Go that way. Oh my god, this is huge. Look at that rod! You gotta follow him. Look how much line he just took off. That spool is basically full. We're literally having to chase him. This is fun. This has got to be a, be a bigger albacore. There's no way. All right, stop. Look at this fight. This is nuts. Oh my God. Come on, buddy. <laughs> this is so much fun. Haven't even seen color yet. Maybe I hooked one in the. Maybe I foul hooked one. That's a possibility. Still have not seen color. I'm just going under the boat again. I'm thinking either a big albacore or possibly a f maybe it might be foul hooked. I haven't even seen him yet. This is crazy. I just saw a little flash. He's still, he's under the boat. Oh shit, it's coming up. This is nuts. Yep, just like I thought. Foul hooked. Foul hooked Albies right here, dead. That's a bigger one, though. Oh my god. There we go. 
Okay, you just bring that net in. Oh, don't spit up. Look at that, y'all. Another, that's a better, bigger albie, probably like three or four pounds. Such a sick fish. Second albie of the day. False albie, whatever, you, whatever they're called. Going back in, this is a cool way to release them. You gotta kind of throw them in like a torpedo. Basically just, oh. Well, he's supposed to swim off good. He might've been tired from the fight. Oh, there he goes, he's swimming off. Yeah, he's good. All right, sweet. Well, that was a lot of fun. That was freaking awesome. All right, so after that, we uh, spent the rest of the day catching some flounder. And if you guys haven't checked out my last video, it's all about flounder and flounder season here in North Carolina. So definitely go and check that out. It was my last video. I'll leave it linked to one of the cards up here or I'll leave it in the description below. But real quick, I just wanted to talk about the rod reel setup and lure that I was using to catch all these fish. Um, I kind of already explained it earlier, but I thought I might as well go ahead and talk about it a little bit more. So for the rod, I was using a seven foot medium light action rod. Super fun fighting those fish on, on a light action rod. You can use just like a medium or even a medium heavy for it, but I was using a medium light and it was super fun fighting these fish. And then for the reel, I was using a 2,500 size reel with 10 pound braid for the main line and a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader or monofilament will work too. And then for the bait, I was just using this little jig. I always have a rig like that set up with that jig on it whenever we go out into the ocean because you never know when you're going to find some schools like that. And really, we didn't go out and find them. Obviously, this day we were out there trying to catch flounder, but we were driving to and from different flounder spots and we ended up running into some of these schools but what they're doing is they're pushing bait up to the surface and just using the surface of the water as a sort of a barrier to keep them all in one place and the fish will just come up and eat them a lot of times you can see birds coming around diving for them as well you didn't i didn't really see that many uh on this day but uh, a lot of times you you can see birds uh diving for them and that's another way to find them but really all we were doing is we were just driving uh down the beach we're staying probably about two or three miles off the beach uh, I don't know if I've ever seen false albacore as close as like literally on the beach, like in the breakers, but I have been surfing before and literally seen Spanish mackerel jumping around me. I'm not an expert on them. I really don't know a whole lot about false albacore, but for the ones I do have experience catching, they tend to be in that like two to maybe five or 10 mile range but yeah this type of fishing is a whole lot of fun i love finding these schools of fish blowing up whenever i'm doing some near shore fishing false albacore oh my god they, they fight so hard so hopefully i can find some more of them i also want to try fly fishing for them i've heard that can be really fun and i can't even imagine what a fight on a fly rod would be like with one of those fish i love false albacore fishing i definitely want to do a lot more of it in the future so if you guys have any tips for me or for anyone else definitely leave them in the comments below for false albacore because i don't know a whole lot about them but it was a lot of fun catching them in today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, if you're new here what's up my name is jamie i'm from north carolina i'm primarily a bass fisherman but i've been getting a lot more into saltwater fishing down here on the coast of north carolina and i'm going to be doing a lot of both here in the future on this channel so definitely stick around subscribe if you haven't yet i'll really appreciate it and for everyone who has subscribed and is supporting me thank you guys so much i really 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 appreciate it and uh with all that being said y'all i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did definitely leave a like if you want to see more make sure to subscribe share this video with a friend if you think they might enjoy it, and i'll catch you guys in the next video Peace. Yep, that could be an albacore or just a bigger Spanish. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> oh yeah, that's fun. That might be an albacore, Dad. <laughs> <laughs>